guys, my name is Genevieve Ume and yes, it is my first time at GTV Bank Food and Drink. I am pleasantly surprised, like genuinely so surprised. It's so nice, such a nice experience. I love the fact that there are so many vendors and so many food, so many of your favorite treats in one place. And that's one of the things I love about it. Um, have I been eating a lot? Yes. Have I had too much? Yes. I've had ice cream, I've had a parfait, I've had waffles, I've had pancakes. <laughs> And I'm about to have a burger, guys, it's so bad, it's so bad, it's not good for my waistline, but I definitely recommend it, should I, should you come next year, and the, on the next, the year after that, I'll definitely be here, so I think you should definitely come, it's a fantastic experience, um, it's just a really nice environment, you might bump into your friend or your ex, <laughs> so definitely come, I love this. Hi guys, I'm Daniel Gray at the GT Bank Food Festival and I'm having so much fun. Um, checking in to say hi, come through, eat the food, but um, I have to go now because this is calling my name, so bye. <laughs> my name is Aaron, Aaron Amorshele. I work with um, Chloe's Cupcake Heaven. We make one of the best ice cream you can taste. Hey guys, my name is Coach Dani. I am co-founder for Shake Me Up Smoothies, makers of the most indulgent parfaits and smoothies in Lagos. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. Hi guys, my name is Chef Eros and I'm right here, right in front of my Ile Eros stand at the GT Bank Food and Drink 2019. It's been four whole years and I've been here for every single one of them and it's been amazing. Um, the turnout has been great, um, the traffic has been good. Just want to say thank you to GT Bank for, keep do for doing this and for keeping it up every single year and getting better with every single year. To, to GT Bank, this is saying cheers and keep rocking hard. Indigenously, if you want to prepare a specific indigenous recipe, yes, you can go by the rules, but there's nothing like, okay, rules and regulations in cooking. The aroma is coming, so, you know, it's spreading everywhere. So I want to know if it's the fish or the ginger or the... Everything just the, you know... Okay, so it's the garlic and the butter. That's what's doing the miracle. The miracle about chocolate was it was described uh, in the early days as a as a drink that was a medicinal drink that was so disgusting it was only fit for the pigs. But I don't think we should really eat chocolate to be healthy. I stay healthy so I can eat chocolate. The master class today was great. I attended the master class with um, Angus Kennedy and I learned how to enjoy chocolate even though I run away from chocolates. Certain things make you think deeper. Angus Kennedy was awesome. Kenara Winnie was awesome as well. It was a really good day. The GT Bank um, Food and Drink Fair is one of the ways they really help SMEs to get better at what they do. GT Bank, thumbs up. I mean, it's a really good opportunity considering the stores are free, they don't ask anything of you, and I just want to say thank you so much to GT Bank for giving me this opportunity. I'm so grateful to GT Bank for organizing such, especially for first-timers like us. It's been awesome, it's been mad. GT Bank, y'all are the real MVP. If you put um, a piece of butter in the fridge and then you put some oil in the fridge for like an hour and then you take them out and you shake the oil, it's going to splash around. The butter's not. The butter's going to be really hard, right? So when you put butter in a cake, it's going to give you a denser, like a, like a beefier crumb where an oil-based cake is going to be a lot softer, a lot more tender. Um, you know, it's going to be like oil-based cakes are generally nicer to eat. My name is Faintola Kintola. I'm um, CEO of Better Cakes and um, I just attended a class by um, Goldman, Dove Goldman. Um, it's very informative. Even at my level as a cake maker, I have been able to really understand a little, I mean here and there about the things, you know, that he did, especially the structure that he puts in. 
ideally we do structures but we would have used something else as our own structure but this kind of structure is new is fresh i mean it's nice i'm going to do a one of my favorite sandwiches on the planet okay. is like a fried chicken sandwich mm. with like iceberg lettuce mm. and creamy tomato mm. on a soft pillowy bun. You take a bite, mm. your teeth hit the crunch of that expertly hand breaded deep fried piece of chicken. <laughs> And you get it and a little drips down your little... And then it's going all over your side. <laughs> to, to date, I won't be doing that much cooking, but I'll be teaching you how to make very simple sauce. Okay? So today, we'll be doing a mustard dressing with corn and pomegranate. We have a steak with a miso and ginger dress, uh, sauce. We have a broccoli, fried broccoli with a tomato sauce. Uh, most of the time when I'm at a restaurant, people ask me, say, what is the secret to your cooking? And for me, it's all about the dressing and sauce it, and the sauce. We're going to do two still life setups first to give you an idea that at every stage in recipe creation and in storytelling, you have an opportunity to use every single element to tell a story. As far as savory cooking, if you get a recipe and you're looking online, the recipe is just the base, right? You are always supposed to put a little bit of yourself into that recipe. What is your motivation? What gives you the inspiration to inspiration? create new dishes? So a lot of time, I'm, I always, you know, I create the dishes based on what I see and then from the dish that I like from the ingredient that I see and that's how I got inspired a lot of time. Hey, how are you everyone? I'm uh, Deal to the TUM. I, I'm actually at the GDB uh, Food and Drinks. Uh, I came here to have fun. I mean, it's good to have fairs like this because people can actually come, enjoy variety of the food. And not just that, the fact is people can come as well and sell what they have. You know, not just you selling your business on Instagram, you can come to an open fair where people of different spaces can come and have a good taste of good food. Whether you like it or not, the things you do at your homes is a lot more big, things bigger than what you can ever, ever imagine. I've come here and I've tasted a lot of food that I've not ever tasted before, and that's why it's good. I feel good coming here and enjoy yourself and see you next season. Yeah.